Hi guys, today's video is about New Year's resolutions. I know this is the time of the year when everybody is working on their New Year's resolutions. So I'm here with this video to recommend few that you could add to your list. Of course, they are all related to real estate. Do you think you will become a homeowner one day in your future? Number one is to stay on top of your credit and improve it when you need to do so. Uh, most people have no clue what's going on on their credit until they need to purchase something, then they realize I need to work on my credit. Don't let that be you. Make it a resolution this year to start improving your credit. And it's so easy to do. There are many, many, many free tools out there available to make that a reality. One of my favorite out there is Credit Karma. One, it's free. Who doesn't like free, right? And it's also a very powerful tool that uh, gives you the ability to have control over your credit by sending you monthly reports and uh, notifying you every time there's something on your credit. It's a great tool. I also love their credit stimulation tool, which allows you to, to see um, how different scenarios could impact your credit. That's a free tool available so you can be in control of your credit before it's too late. So take advantage of that. There are also a free annual credit report available. The credit score is not just a number, it's more than that. So you want to know exactly what's the content of your credit history. So getting that annual credit report will help you with that. Two, filing your taxes. Make it a resolution this year to get your taxes in order because one of the critical documents you will have to provide to mortgage lenders when you're working on getting your home, it's your tax returns and they will ask you for one, two, three years, depending on your situation. So now is the time to get started on that process. Have you been filing your taxes? If you haven't, now is the time to start working on that. Soon we'll be getting into tax season. So now is a great time to start talking to tax professionals, CPAs or accountants to know what can you do to get your taxes in order. So when that time comes to start shopping for homes, you don't encounter that hurdle on your way. My last recommendation for you to add on your New Year's resolution list is savings. Getting a house will involve a lot of costs. So be ahead of the game by saving now. The thing with saving is most people think, oh, I'll wait until I get a big paycheck or I get a, um, I don't know, I win the lottery or something before starting on your savings. The key with savings is not so much the amount, but it's the discipline, it's the habit of putting money aside. Even if it's $5, $10, $20, anything you can save every month can go a long way because remember, something is better than nothing and brick by brick, you end up having a wall, but you gotta start today. So start that process today. I promise you, you will thank me later. I will leave you with this. It's not just about setting the goals. It's about achieving them. Why are you setting all those goals? Work on how can you make sure that you won't fall through because most New Year's resolutions don't make it past January 31st. They don't even make it to January 31st. So don't let that be you. Stay committed to your commitment and soon you'll be getting the key to your dream home. Thank you for watching and I will see you on my next video and don't forget to make this year your best year ever. Ciao, I'll see you on my next video.